Okay, so we're going to take what we learned last time, starting with the same spot, working on the talk pack um, configuration. Um, just so everybody knows, this can be done on the TF and the Revage, the PM, CL, QL. I'm working on a CL because that's what I have in front of me. Um, so we're just going to start where we left off. Um, if you remember from the last time, we can select which um, which people we want to talk to by enabling them and then hitting the talkback mic to turn on our talkback to them. We press and hold the talkback, it becomes a momentary. So when we let it go, it turns off. And I apologize for that uh, video screen on the bottom there. It's not that great. Um, taking video of the stream deck is... Not so easy, but I wanted to show how the knobs work. So let's uh, try taking up a notch here where we utilize the knobs to um, adjust the send level to each of these people. So as you're talking to them, they're saying, oh, I can't hear you very well. You can make an adjustment and uh, turn up your, um, your talk back to them. Um, so first thing we want to do is like to have an indication of what the level is for the selected mix. So we kind of need to make a couple of variables. We need to make a variable that is which mix is selected, one of the first four mixes here. And we also need to have a variable for what level is, what the level is for the for those particular mixes. So let's go into variables here, make a couple of custom variables. So this one I'm going to just call mix selected mix and this one i'm going to call mix level or the selected mix level all right now they don't have any values at the moment the values are going to be fed to it by the um by companion or by feedback um so essentially uh what we want to do is is start with how we're going to set which mix is which. So for, I'm going to do this so that when you press any of these buttons, not only do they turn the mix on and off, but if you press and hold them, you know, it will allow you to change the mix while you're while you're holding it. Now it's not really a delay thing. I want to do it immediately. So when I press the button, it will actually um, select the mix. So for press actions, we're just going to add another press action here. And this one is going to be an internal. And we're going to set custom variable with a raw value. The custom variable in this case is the mix. The value is one. Okay, so that will work so that when we press that button, going to set the, the mix value to one. You see that? Now, the only thing is, is you, I only want this mix to be active when I'm pressing the button. I don't want it to stay active after I release it. So I'd like to clear itself. So let's, uh, let's do that. So that's a release action. And instead of doing this release action from scratch, I can just duplicate this one here and then drag it down to a release action. And it just copies that same one down. I just took it and dragged it. But in this case, instead of it setting the value to one, I'm going to set it to blank, not even zero, just blank. So let's see how that works now. By now, if I press the button, it goes to one. When I let go, it stops. So as long as I'm holding it, it's one. When I let go, it goes blank, right? So while I'm holding it, it's one. When I let go, it's blank. Great. So we've got that now for selecting the mix. Um, we're going to copy that across to the other buttons once we once we finish here. But the next thing we want to get is we want to get the mix level, right? So let's do that with a feedback. I'm going to have the mix level show up um, on this right in, the, in this um, cell here, which on the um, stream deck is going to be the the one right above the second knob here. Um, so let's create a button. This button's not going to do anything other than give us um, 
the next level. So we're going to do for this text string, we're going to add the variable and it's a custom variable. So did I go past it already? Uh, oh, instance date. So I got all these page numbers and things. If we can find it. Custom mix, custom mix level. That's the one I want. So at the moment, it's 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 not anything because there's no no value for that custom mix level quite yet. Um, at the moment, it's still mix level is blank. So if I was to put a uh, value in there, you'd see it show up. But I'm not going to be typing a value in. I'm going to have it automatically fill that in. So let's do that with feedback. So this feedback is going to be uh, let's go to the RCP. And uh, this is a two mix level. So in channel, two mix level. That's what I want. Okay, so it's for channel one, two mix one. And I want it, to, I don't want to auto create a variable in this case. I want it to be set to the variable I'm using. The reason I don't want to use an auto create variable is that it would create multiple variables uh, each time I change the mix. So in this case, I just want it to be the um, this variable here, uh, custom mix level. So I'm going to copy it here. And then I'm going to go to there. And I'm going to, instead of putting level in, I'm going to put the variable in. But instead of using a dollar sign, in this case, I'm going to use the add sign so that it creates the variable. And immediately, as soon as I do that, I can see that it's set to minus 20, which incidentally is the mix level for Paul. Minus 20. So if I was to change that, make it uh, minus 24, it'll immediately update there and tell me the mix level there. Um, just for fun, we can add a little little DB. Uh, and the backslide N means new line DB. So then I got minus 24 DB. I don't know if I want that on a separate line. So maybe we'll just put it on the same line so it looks nicer. Okay, so now. We have the levels showing, but we're not actually changing the level with the knob yet. So what we want to do is make this knob change that level. And to do that, we're going to go and look at this here, create a button. We do rotary actions because this knob is rotary. So rotary actions. So rotating left, I want it to decrease the level. So to do that, um, it's going to be in channel to mix level. And it's channel one to mix one. I'd like it to go by one dB. So we'll say minus one, but relative. Okay. And now the rotating right, we want it to increase by that. So we'll just duplicate this and then drag it down to the rotate right. And then instead of minus one, we'll do plus one. Okay. So if we do that, Let's see if that works. So I'm just going to test it here. Okay, I'm rotating to the, uh, which way am I rotating here? Rotate right, I'm rotating right. Yes, and the, the level's increasing. If I rotate left, it's decreasing. Okay, so that works good. Now, remember though, I only want this to work when I press the, um, the button. So at the moment, what is that variable set to? The variable is set custom mix. Okay, so we don't have custom mix set up. What we're doing right now is we're adjusting mix one. I don't want to adjust mix one. I want to adjust that custom mix. So in this case, I'm going to do a copy Go here. Instead of two mix being one, make it custom mix. And same here, custom mix. So now when I adjust it, it doesn't do anything because I haven't selected that mix, right? But if I were to press and hold this button, which I can't do both of these things at once, so I'll go over to the stream deck and do this on the stream deck. Let's see if that uh, works the way I hope it does. Getting my big fat fingers in the way. So looking at the all, if I press and hold that button, and then turn the knob, it's going up and down, which is great, it's what I want. But if I let go, it doesn't adjust it anymore. So it will only make adjustments when I'm holding it down. So that's exactly what I want when I 
only when I press it does it change it. Now, um, that's perfect, exactly the way I want it to work. But at the moment, one little, one slight problem, um, it's showing the level for Paul, which is fine. But if I was selecting a different one, I don't want it to show the level of Paul um, at that point. I want it to show the level for the mix that I have selected. Okay, so I need to make sure that this feedback uh, to mix one, it's actually to the selected mix. Okay, so that's the selected mix. Now, this doesn't look very good, right? This is NAN, meaning not a number, because it doesn't like the fact that there's no actual number. I'll show you what that means. Um, if I am haven't got anything pressed, it's not. there's no number in there. So when I press it, now it's, it's showing the level, which is right. When I let go, it goes, oh, not a number. So it's because there's no mix number in there. It doesn't, it doesn't really like that. So there's a few ways to fix that. A simple, simple way would be just to set it so that if there's no mix number, um, we just clear that so we can't see the see the text. Just make it blank. Because it's not, it's not really causing any problems. It just looks ugly. So let's uh, let's add a feedback. And so in variable, we're going to check check value. So we'll check the value of custom variable, which is uh, what is our custom variable? Let's see if we can find it here. Um, going up. Uh, where did it go? Oh, here we are. So custom mix. So if custom mix is set to nothing, meaning it's got no value at all, I'd like to um, make the text black so you can't see it. All right. So now it's gone. So if um, what's this going to do is if the variable Oh, by the way, up here, I, if I'm doing an, if I'm creating a variable and make, or setting a variable level, I don't need any properties for that. Just FY. But here I do need a property because I want to set the text to being black if the variable doesn't have any any value to it. So now let's try that on the on the stream deck. If I press and hold the button, it lights up. If I let go, it's off. So that's a little more reasonable in that it's now showing you that I can adjust it when the when it's uh, when it's pressed. That works good. Um, now let's uh, let's maybe make this work for the other um, the other ones as well. So it's working for Paul because we added this that raw value to one to that custom variable mix set and release. Um, I would love to copy and paste this over, but I don't think there's a way to do that. So I'm just going to add them quickly here. Um, luckily, when you click the down arrow here, it remembers the um, some of the last commands that you gave it. So um, I can set this raw value of mix to two. And when I release it, I'm going to do the same thing, set raw value, mix, and set it to nothing. Okay. So then we'll do the same with John. Press action, set raw value. Set the mix to three, and on release, set it to nothing. And ring off, same thing. On value of four, and release is value of nothing. Okay, so does this work? Let's uh, let's give it a little test. So just to verify again that Paul works. So if I press Paul. I make an adjustment, it's turning his mix up and down. That's good. If I press hold George, it's uh, adjusting his mix up and down. Great. I hold John, it's doing his mix up and down. So that's pretty good. It's exactly the way we want it to work. Now we could get even a little bit more fancy because we've got a couple of minutes left here. Let's do this. Set it up so that when I press the knob in, it, it adjusts the mixes by 0.1 dB instead of by 1 dB. So for that, we're going to go to the knob here, and we're going to set an action for the knob so that when we adjust it, 
it, it's going to change something. So I, first of all, I need to make create a new variable called step or whatever I want to call it that keeps track of what the increment is. So let's make a new variable. We'll just call it step. And I'm going to start the value as one, make it one for a current value because we don't want it to be zero ever. Uh, otherwise, the knob wouldn't do anything. So then going back to the button here, instead of the level going minus one, I'm going to go minus dollar sign custom. You know what? Easier way to do this is just to copy the variable. I can do it from here. And I don't have to remember exactly what it's called. Level is minus custom step. And this one is going to be just custom step. Okay, so because custom step is set to one right now, it should uh, still increment and decrement by one dB. So let's let's check that. So if I on George, go up, it's going up by one dB, like it's supposed to. That's great. Okay, but if I set it so that it's a different value. So if I go to the variables here and set this uh, value to be two, for example, um, let's see how that works. I do John going up by two now, up and down by two. So, but what I wanted to do is set it so that it changes depending on whether I'm pushing the button in sort of the same way the, the controls work on the Yamaha. So let's take a look at that. So I'm setting it back to one. Going back to this knob here, we can adjust. So um, I don't want to rotate. It's not a rotate, it's a press button, press action. So on press action, I'm going to be setting a variable raw value. Custom variable in this case is step. So when I press it in, I'd like that step to be 0.1. When I release it, so in this case, I'm just going to copy this because it's exactly the same again. Copy it down for release. And when I release it, I'd like it to be one because if I don't have a release, then it's going to um, uh, it's going to stay at the point one. Oh, I just realized I <laughs> dragged it, but I didn't copy it. So I want to copy it and drag it. So now I'm going to drag it on press. Okay, hmm. small bug there. Some sort press point one. This should just drag this bottom one only. Yes. Oops. There we go. All right. So when I release it, it's one. When I press it, it's it's point one. So it's just a step. So let's uh, let's test that. And see how that works. And Paul, press it. It's going up and down by one. If I press in. Goes by point one. So that's working the way it's supposed to. So I can adjust it. You know, you have a sort of a fine adjustment while I'm pressing the button. And when I stop pressing it, it goes up and down by one. And uh, when I press it in, I get point one. So that's kind of cool. Works then very much like the, the way the Yamaha works. And when I release it, the thing goes away. So there you go. A little bit of stuff about custom variables and rotating actions. Um, hopefully that was interesting and helpful. Any questions, any other ideas or things you'd like to see, let me know. Thanks for watching, everyone.